Okay, Trump 24 or before. Uh, what does that mean to you? Uh, he's already president. He's already president. He's our president. Meaning Donald Trump is, is president now? He's president now. I believe he is. How would that work? Because Joe Biden has been been the president, right? Obama's is the been the president. Obama said that he was going to he would like to run a third term if he could sit in his basement and call the shots, and that's exactly what he's doing. But you just said that it's Obama's third term, but also that he's Trump calling, is president. He's calling the shots at all this mess that's going on right now and all the disasters that he's caused. Yeah. That's but how is Obama calling the shots if Trump is still president? Obama is sitting back and telling Obama, telling Biden what, what he, sh what, what to do. But what is Biden if he's not the president? He's a bumbling fool right now. <laughs> but why would it matter if Obama was telling Biden what to do if Biden's not president? Say that again. Why would it matter if if Obama was telling Biden what to do if Biden wasn't president? That right there is the problem. A lot of Trump supporters will parrot right-wing talking points and lines that they've read on Facebook or Telegram and state them as fact without even stopping to think about whether their logic can be justified, even just to themselves. You can see this woman gradually realizing that the things she's saying make absolutely no sense. Obama is sitting back and telling Obama, telling Biden what what he sh what what to do. And honestly, this is probably the first time anybody has seriously questioned her statements. Say that again. We're losing it. You know, I've, everyone knows we're losing it. In what way? Can you define that, the losing it part? I mean, we have documentation on lying, cheating, stealing, molesting China Joe's son's laptop, right? The stripper, the stripper humper. I don't know if I can say stripper humper, but I mean, it's on his laptop, right? Paybacks for the big guy. Media? prohibiting the story about lying, cheating, stealing, molesting China Joe's son's laptop. They, they, I was de I personally was deplatformed for that, right? Just like with the uh, Fauci virus, you know, just speaking about the ineffectiveness of, of those uh, clot shots. Um, so you had a confluence of the media. The um, clot shot, well, the, the vaccines? Right. You know, well, they had to change the definition of vaccine to pretend it was a vaccine. It's, it's not a vaccine in any traditional sense. It's so all the, the work that, that Trump did and his administration did to get those vaccines out, you think was in vain? The work was preceded Trump. Well, he, no, but he was, he was, I'm talking about getting the vaccines. That was, right. a, he said, we will well, get a vaccine. manufacturing a virus in a lab, you have a front row seat to manufacture the vaccine, don't you? I mean, you're, so you're, you're not, let me just go, you're not saying that Trump manufactured the vaccine. No, I'm saying Fauci, when, um, if he were to lose again, what would that mean for the country in your opinion? You mean if Trump, President Trump was to lose for the first time, he's never lost a presidential election. Well, yeah, I'm, he had a historic turnout. 81 million people have never turned out for a presidential election. You, you know, they, I mean, were you up at the, at, on election day? Did you, were you up when they stopped counting, which has never happened before, until they calculated how many fake votes that were trucked in in the middle of the night when they were pounding plywood over the counter windows that are mandated that you have observers and they pounded plywood so the count couldn't be observed? But Trump still got the most votes of all time. That vegetable that was installed in the White House to be Barack Obama's third term couldn't, can't fill a park. Look at these people. That vegetable can't fill a, a, a Walmart. The lack of critical thinking is truly astounding. And many right-wingers are so confident in their so-called research that they aren't just willing, but are in fact eager to be challenged so that they can show off their knowledge. Trouble is that their evidence is usually extremely easily debunked. A lot of senior Republicans over the past few weeks have been sharing doctored and manipulated videos on social media. Now the Trump campaign and Trump supporters will often say, these videos are clearly jokes. They are memes, people know they're memes, people know they're fake. When they say, well, this is fact checked, it's wrong because it's taken out of context. Like when Joe Biden fell asleep during a live interview on television. <laughs> Claimed that he fell asleep. I think that was an edited one, right? That was- I didn't think it was, it looked pretty live to me with no cuts in it. Is this the video that you're talking about? Could be, yeah. Biden following. Should I watch it really quick? 
Sure. So this is Washington Post. Uh. <laughs> so an article there is saying that that it that it was faked, but it looked real, right? I mean, it looked real. Well, I mean. I definitely wouldn't doubt that it would happen. Even if it is fake, does it change your opinion of, of Biden? God, no. You got to sift through it. I missed that one, but it was a good laugh. A lot of people in the MAGA movement don't trust experts, and why would they? Right-wing media has been training them not to for decades, but they will trust something they hear at a bar or from a friend. In a way, it's a very human instinct to question people in authority and at the same time trust the people that we love, but it can lead folks down some insane rabbit holes. People don't like to be challenged, generally, and accepting that we're wrong will always be tougher than finding people who agree with us. And when Trump supporters are asked where they get their news from, the answers are depressingly predictable. You said you never watched the news before. Where do you get your news now? I watch Fox News, Newsmax. I refuse to watch other stations. I still watch the local news. Actually, 30 minutes in the morning, local news is all I ever watched in my whole life. Never voted in my life. But, you know, it's like, I think he's waking up America, and, and, and America is starting to realize, you know, we don't have free and fair elections. We're not being, the Justice Department ain't blind. <laughs> you know, it's like they're indoctrinating our children, and so I think he's waking up America big time. Yeah. Which news do you watch now mostly? Now? I don't watch any of the news. Where do you get your... I get, like, I go on Michael Knowles and iPods, and now I'm on Twitter with uh, Carson Tucker, you know things like that. Well, you heard it here first. Carlson, Tucker, and iPods. I love vintage tech. But even for folks watching more traditional news, with outlets getting increasingly desperate to draw viewership, we're seeing less than morally sound decisions regarding journalistic integrity. It's a depressing fact that many people simply don't care whether the things they're being told are true so long as they fit their worldview. Why would I follow people that throw rocks at me constantly because they don't agree with me? I got tens of thousands of people that do. And the shift towards alternative news sources raises critical concerns about accountability, despite having to pay $757 million after admitting that they willingly lied to viewers for ratings, Fox News has been the most watched cable news channel for eight consecutive years. We're not just talking about silly doctored videos of Joe Biden falling asleep being shared on social media. We're talking about a very real threat to democracy that people are willingly ingesting 24 seven year after year. Say that again. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?